Hey, what's going on guys? Reaper here. So, if you saw my video the other night, uh, I basically told you guys I was going to get you a little bit of a video update on the base. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now. I've pretty much mostly been updating on my business page, um, mostly through stills and photos and stuff like that. So if you guys follow the the product and business page, uh, not the channel, the actual page on Facebook, um, then you guys have probably seen some of the progress of the base. Uh, but those of you on my regular uh, YouTube and whatnot probably haven't seen a whole lot of it. So I figured I'll just kind of give you guys a little bit of an update. I've progressed quite a bit since I was on my vacation. Um, I decided, well, really need to come out here and make some progress because I have not worked on this thing most of the year. So I ordered about 300 sandbags and just started going to town. So if you guys remember in the last video, it's been a while, so you may not, the main bunker I had for, that was decided to build first um, is pretty much done. All I got to do is finish up the roof and the entryway, and it's complete. The trench line's extended and going into the next... Uh, the next part of the bunker and then I'll extend it even further on this way but uh, anyway guys here you go so this is the main bunker um, like I said it's it's just about done entryway here's got to be completely dug out unfortunately it's a lot of rock so uh, that may be a little bit of an issue trying to get that fully dug out but uh, I'm gonna try so anyway like I said guys all I got to do is get a few more uh, logs up here for the roof and then put the roof on it sandbag the top of it and this one's finished uh the trench line does extend quite a bit now i've been out here working on it and oh, well continue to work on it until i start losing more daylight but uh yeah as you guys can see it it comes out here probably about 30 feet um right in here is where the second bunker is going to be i'm going to do it a little differently and i did that one and then over on the other side of that bunker there there will be another one down another 30, 40 feet. And then we're going to probably build a big old CP bunker up here. There's going to be a communications bunker in here somewhere. Eventually a tower, a latrine and shower, uh, some mortar pits, and even probably a little tiny barracks. So it's, it's going to turn into something pretty cool. Um, a lot of you guys don't know that I also have a uh, Vietnam LOH-086 helicopter, scout helicopter. Um, had that for years it's still on property I used to rent back in Nebraska when I first started building a base uh, so I got to get back out there and get that either this winter or early next year um, it was brought back from Vietnam I believe it was also shot down in Vietnam uh, and it was brought back by I believe the pilot or one of the crew members um, and it wound up sitting in basically an aircraft graveyard for several years for the guy that I bought it from got it and it was in the middle of kind of restoring it um, I don't ever foresee it flying again uh, probably just turn it into a static display and kind of put it back together and probably have like a little landing pad out here that it sits on so that'd be real cool uh, since I've progressed more with this base I have gotten quite a bit of interest from guys so it's it's a possibility in the future this may turn into a, a pretty neat key location for reenactments and that's kind of what I'm hoping for um, possibly film and documentary use as well I've even got guys that are really excited about it and have offered uh, to come out here and help me progress on this base a little bit, which would be great. Um, I have not scouted the, the hilltop up here yet to see if there's even a good location to get a road in here. Uh, it's kind of needed, and if we can, possibility of a backhoe or a dozer coming up here to help with this. And I mean, that would, that would really help because if you guys remember one of the last times I came up through here, I've got a trail that goes on through the creek bed down to the road to get up here. So uh, definitely, definitely helped being able to get stuff up here that way. Um, I've started building ammo crates so I don't use originals and they don't sit out here and rot. So I've started making some of those to help progress with building bunkers and, and just, uh, you know, fortifications and whatnot. But uh, yeah, guys, as you can see, quite a bit done so far. Um, still a lot more to go. Um, but yeah, guys, I just wanted to give you a nice little update on the base. So you guys can kind of see where it was at. It's, uh, it's coming along pretty well. I mean, considering 
I haven't been out here every single day through my vacation. It's just been a couple days here and there and mostly every other day and stuff like that. I think we finally finished filling maybe a little over 100 sandbags out of the 300 I bought. So there's a lot to be filled. We've even discussed filling some of the sandbags from down in the creek bed down there and hauling them up here. So that's going to be a trip. I'll try and get some footage of that when I get get around to to, to that point. <laughs> uh, but anyway, guys, man, I'm going to get back to working on this a little bit as long as I've still got daylight. And hopefully the next update I have for you guys on the base will be this one finished and that one pretty much started. Um, and that hopefully that trench line will be completely dug out and, and ready to go. So thanks for watching, guys. Remember to like, comment, subscribe for more videos like this in the future. <clears throat> if you guys feel like you have any comments or questions or anything like that, don't hesitate to drop me a line and ask. And remember, guys, as always, stay frosty, ride or die, reaper out. <laughs>